Redditors who don't drink alcohol what are your reasons for not drinking? Sleep. If I have as little as one glass of wine, I do not sleep well and I wake up early. When you have kids, you need all the sleep you can get. I was a social drinker. I no longer socialize. My dad is an alcoholic. I'm afraid to be one. Growing up, I was surrounded by alcohol-fueled violence. I decided at 11 I would never drink. Save for the odd sip of Southern Comfort as a teen, to this day I still don't drink. I'm 43 now. Every time I drink my mood is screwy the next day. I'm guessing it interferes with my sleep or something, but the end result is that I drink very rarely. I'm a recovering alcoholic. So there's that. I prefer the feeling of staying sober. Drank a lot in my teens, twenties and thirties. My life was surrounded by people who drank and events where drinking took place. Then I moved, made new friends and I got bored of it. Now when I have a drink I go straight to the dehydration headache and get none of the warm fuzzy fun stuff. So, age I guess is why not. It hurts my tummy. I see what it does to people. I was slowly and consistently ruining my life with it. My wife and I both drank from our twenties up until we hit fifty. It caught up with us over time and took over our lives. Every day was an excuse for drinking. Marriage started to really suffer. I would come home from work and my wife would be too hammered to do anything productive, I drink to not deal with her. She got a DUI and I left her for six months trying to figure out my own life. We both agreed to quit and give it a second chance. Best move ever. It saved our relationship and it's been 16 years now. We now appreciate what we gain from not drinking rather than what we are missing out on. I already can't control myself sober. Alcoholism. Sober and clean since the 28th of October 06 one day at a time. It tastes bad, it damages the body, I feel mentally worse after even a single drink, it's bad for your skin, it accelerates aging, it's expensive. Not many reasons for me to drink, really. Edit grammar. I'm an alcoholic and I almost lost everything. Been sober for nine years, six mo's. I got drunk once when I was 19 and had a miserable experience. I decided none of that was for me because I hold a strong fear of not being in full control of myself and my actions. Do I really need a reason? Life is hard. My body is precious. I work hard. I'm going to live as long as possible with the most healthy body I can nurture so that I may enjoy living instead of suffering in this life. For me I found that alcohol is the primary contributor to anxiety. I've since learned that this is scientifically supported after listening to Andrew Huberman explain the effects alcohol has on the adrenal glands and cortisol release. If I don't drink then I very rarely have anxiety, but as soon as I drink I become anxiety-ridden the following one three days, even if I don't have a standard hangover. I'm way too good at it. My epilepsy means I can't drink at all. I also come from a family of severe alcoholics, so that always bugged me even when I was little. Love alcohol. Don't drink it because it alters my emotional responses for several days after having even a couple drinks. If I drink more then I crave it, leading to a vicious cycle that spirals into emotional instability. Second reason it's expensive. Not spending $40 a week on it actually buys a lot of other things. Third reason digestive health. Fourth reason setting the example of controlling a compulsive behavior. Got kids with my same genetic disposition, they'll likely have the same reaction to alcohol. They'll know full well why I don't drink. It tastes bad. I'm convinced everyone else is faking it. Because it puts your thoughts and emotions on loop. You can't heal from trauma. You can't grow emotionally. Maturing is a difficult and slow process. I would say and do stupid things I normally wouldn't. 
I'd spend hours and hours at bars talking about dumb shit with other inebriated folks and laugh at things that aren't funny when sober. There's thousands of reasons not to drink and only several to drink. Alcohol and substance abuse had taken so much from me over the last 10 years. I quit cold turkey after a typical two-day weekend bender five months ago and won't ever touch a drop again. I can't consume alcohol responsibly and had to be honest with myself about it. I used no programs, just good old willpower, though I urge those struggling to utilize the services and programs available according to your own personal needs. After I got my DUI I thought I'd learn. Did not. Almost ruined my marriage after I fell into the abyss again and started drinking and driving home. I will never be that careless again. 111 days sober today. Many more to go. Migraines. I can't get past the taste. It's awful to me. I feel the same way about coffee. My brain didn't know when to quit drinking. Hangovers would last for days, I would usually black out. So, for the past 20 years I have made the choice to not drink. Effects I saw due to drinking. 1. Fun time. 2. Inconvenience. 3. Life problems. Why I don't. 1. Don't need alcohol for that. 2. 3. Wanted neither. Tastes like shit. My liver asked me not to. I have allergy. Being drunk sucks. Feels bad. Gives me a headache. I end up really disliking my decision-making trends. And most alcoholic drinks taste bad. I've always needed to find, like, the beers I can tolerate the wine I can tolerate the whiskey I can tolerate. It's never a case of me liking a drink enough to actually want to drink it for its own sake. Several reasons. None of my parents ever drank alcohol around me growing up, so never thought it was a normal thing. My grandparents are raging alcoholics, which gave me a disdain for it. It smells and tastes horrible in everything alcoholic I tried. A personal philosophy of mine if you need alcohol to have fun, you are boring. My dad was an abusive alcoholic. He was only emotionally abusive, but his dad was physically abusive. I watched how easily alcohol took over his life and almost killed him. That will not be me. I hate it when the room starts to spin, even when I put a foot down on the floor. And I really hate it when I throws UPS. Health I don't like the taste, so I don't waste money on something I don't like. I do drink when someone offers it to me, out of politeness, but in small quantities. I am underage. I get too drunk too fast and I don't like feeling drunk. I feel like shit the next day. I don't see the point. I have a strong family history of alcoholism. Too many empty calories. I jekyll and hide when I drink. I have much more to lose now. Never again. In Muslim, not religious but still never attempted to try it. My doctor told me to really watch my alcohol consumption because of a heart medication I'm on, and I find it easier to just not drink at all than worry about it. I don't need a reason. I get dumb when I get drunk. Not drinking doesn't need to be justified. Do you need a reason for not drinking? I like weed more. Money. I'm too cheap to buy it. I think I developed an allergy to alcohol. I'm 42 and grew up without alcohol being present. I was in my mid-twenties before trying it. The slightest sip of even five beers or wine coolers or even straight liquor my muscles ache. I get flushed and feel crummy. I've been asked so I'll put it here. I have no Asian DNA per 23 and me. Apparently Asians have known alcohol allergies? I'm an alcoholic for 10 years at least a bottle of vodka tried everything to get off it. Please don't even start. Bad hangovers. 
In the words of John Mulaney I don't drink, I used to drink, and then I drank too much and I had to stop.